A whopping 50% of young women feel the need to hide their conservative beliefs. Olivia Kolchek is with us. She's a Riley Gaines Center ambassador and she's a campus reform reporter. Joins me now. Olivia, why do young women feel the need to hide their conservative views? Um, yeah, you know what? The survey does not shock me to begin with. 50% of young women feeling the need to hide their conservative views um, does not shock me. As a student, I know firsthand I have been failed for saying biological woman in my class. And not on top of that, I have been banned five times on TikTok for posting my conservative views because education, social media, they are the battlegrounds for trying to push and reprogram women into these leftist ideologies. Wait a second. You were failed in, in college? Yes. Uh, uh, some kind of test or some paper or other or I some had to course? take a DEI required course. Ah, uh, yes. and you failed the DEI course? Yes. What yep. did you say wrong? Yeah, how'd you fail? I said biological woman and that was transphobic and hateful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What? Moving on swiftly here. Yeah. Uh, do a lot of young wow. women have, I suppose you could say conservative viewers, and would like to use the expression biological women but can't? Is, is this a lot of people? Oh, absolutely. And I think the problem is 68% of young women get their news from TikTok of all sources. Um, and what we know about TikTok is so many conservative posters and viewers are getting banned just like me who are not allowed to post their views, which just shows that TikTok is feeding these young women, 68% of young women, their news, and it's all leftist-fueled ideology. I, I just get the impression that schools, colleges are turning young women away from motherhood, uh, denigrating the idea of motherhood, uh, carrying on the left-wing idea, no, you've got to get out there, you've got to get a career, you've got to dominate. Am I right? Uh, I totally agree with that. Um, I've definitely noticed it in classes myself. I've seen from my peers, you know, they want to wait longer to have children. I've noticed that, and I think everyone has. And um, we have seen in an annual State of Motherhood report that 25% of reporters in 2023 became stay-at-home mo mothers or reported being a stay-at-home mother compared to the 15% we saw in 2022. So, of course, the left is trying to erase these traditional and conservative values of family. Um, and I think we are seeing women actually wanting to embrace these roles. And when they have the chance, it shows 25% compared to 15 that they want to step in and be a stay-at-home mother. Olivia Krolchek, the pendulum swings, does it not? Uh, Olivia, thanks for joining us. Thank Appreciate you. it. Come back soon.